Hi, I'm Angela Godwin with Waterworld Magazine coming to you from the show floor at WEF Tech 2015 in Chicago. My guest today is Ken Norcross. He is with Evoco Water Technologies. Ken, thank you so much for being with us today. It's my pleasure. So I wanted to come by and talk to you um, specifically about sequencing batch reactors, SBRs. Um, how do they work? The batch reactor takes wastewater and treats it over time in dedicated batches. And it's a real advantage because it offers great flexibility since you can change time for free, mm -hmm. infinitely. All of the wastewater treatment processes in this building, and there are many of them, rely on the same processes of using naturally occurring microbes to remove pollutants from wastewater. Mm -hmm. Everyone has a different way of doing it, and most of them are based on separate reactors in time to allow the microbes to contact and find the pollutants, absorb and remove them, and then oxidize and degrade them so that they're removed from the environment. Then you've got to find a way to collect those microbes, return them back to the process, and accumulate a high concentration so it's efficient. Uh -huh. What the SBR does is to do this process in a single tank and separate each process by time. That offers some real distinct advantages because when each of my process steps are separated by, by distance and concrete, mm -hmm. Once I've designed and built that plant, it's literally cast in concrete, which is inflexible. So I've got to get it right the first time. With an SBR, since these steps are separated by time, mm -hmm. I can always change time. I can provide more, more time for aeration and contact if mm -hmm. it turns out that my wastewater demands are higher than I expected or if they're seasonal, like at a ski resort or uh, any kind of place like that, mm -hmm. then you can just change the times. And in fact, we have a control system which does this automatically. Mm -hmm. It makes it much easier for the operator. Since you have that ability, you can hold it until the treatment's finished. Whereas yeah. a conventional system, it's flowing through. Yeah. And it has whatever time it has. So is uh, the SPR system, is it limited to any particular geometry? Or? No, it's interesting. We've done virtually every kind of geometry. I used to say we'd done everything except for trapezoidal bases, and we've even done that now. Wow. We've got round tanks made out of concrete, made out of steel, you know, really deep, 10 meters deep, uh, four meters deep, and rectangular tanks, long, narrow tanks, mm -hmm. oxidation ditches. There, there really is no limit. Wow. What about uh, climate? Is there, are there any constraints there? No, there's no constraints. In fact, there's a big advantage in using the SPR in cold climates. They're very popular up in Canada and in Northern Europe for the very reason that uh, the conventional technology will do its aeration and uh, bio-oxidation in one basin, mm -hmm. then flow to another basin where it's dedicated to separating the microbes from the treated water. Mm -hmm. Well, the microbes are only half a percent heavier than water, so it needs a lot of time to settle. Well, when that's happening in a cold climate with a wind blowing across, the surface tends to freeze. Well, that's no good. Mm -hmm. With the SBR, you just turn off the aeration and mixing equipment and the basin becomes a clarifier it's, and it's perfectly quiescent. Well, you give it 45 minutes to settle, you take the supernatant off another 45 minutes and then you go back to aerating. Uh -huh. It's not enough time for the system to freeze up and uh, it's much more effective and efficient than Wow. What about the range of applications for SBR? But once again, that's been really fun because we've done everything from wastewater treatment at little trailer parks, mm -hmm. we're treating everything from really small to really huge municipal flows, yep. and then everything in, industrially from landfill leachates to food processing, chemical processing, and all of these work. Ken, thank you so much for coming by and spending some time with us today. We really appreciate it. It's my pleasure. And if folks want to learn a little bit more about the SBR process, where can they go for information? The quickest and simplest thing is go to evoca.com and look for the SBR, the Jet Tech SBR site. Excellent. Thank you so much for spending time with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. For Waterworld Magazine, I'm Angela Godwin.